Hey everybody, Dave here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So this week is a little bit different. It's kind of cool. I found a guy, he goes by Kill Cutter, and he's a toy photographer, and he does some amazing stuff. I'm going to leave links below for his Instagram and his YouTube channel, but I thought it would be really cool to do a collaboration with a toy photographer. So maybe I could build something, maybe a droid or something, I don't know, and uh, then he can photograph it and incorporate it into his style. So I thought that'd be a pretty fun collab. So let's hop on the phone, give him a call, and see what he says. So come on, let's do it. Hot Toys! Hey, Dave here. How's it going? Good to talk with you finally. Hey, Dave. Thanks for reaching out. Oh man, this is great. So I was just telling my audience that I actually found you on Instagram. I was literally just laying in bed scrolling through and I was like, wow, this guy's photography is amazing. And I, I had to reach out and see if you were interested in doing a collaboration. Thank you for reaching out. That's, that is amazing. And I appreciate the kind words. Um, yeah, I, no, I would love to collaborate. I, I, I think this is the perfect type of collaboration. You've got a toy customizer, you've got a toy co uh, photographer. I think it's just two things that match perfectly. So uh, I'm, I'm down. Uh, like one thing that kind of caught my eye is you got a, you do a ton of Star Wars stuff, and I build robots, and they have a Star Wars feel. So I thought like that might be really great. So like, is Star Wars kind of your oh, yeah. like, main thing, or? Yeah, I branch out from time to time, but mainly deal with Star Wars. It's the uh, Hasbro Black Series line, the six-inch figures. Um, I've seen some of your videos before. It's it, it, it would be the perfect match um, between you know your aesthetic and, and the, the way you detail and weather things and the way um, I like to shoot in my style. So I think it's a, it's a perfect pair. That'd be awesome. And yeah, I was like, I'm like watching your Instagram and you've been written up in like two articles in the last two or three weeks. It's in Gizmodo. It's like, that's crazy. That's so cool, man. Congratulations. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, it was a big surprise for me too. I actually, I wasn't expecting that. And uh, yeah. it's been um, just awesome seeing the toy photographer community um, really just, you know, support you. And, and it's, it's such a, it's a, everyone's so positive and it's it's just been a really yeah. awesome experience yeah do you, do you do this full time or are you like I, like i do this as a hobby it's part time i, I work full time and then this is nights and weekends kind of yeah oh yeah just 100 percent hobby for me this is this is like the perfect marriage of loving photography and loving um you know working in photoshop and kind of that digital art space as well as obviously loving Star Wars and things like that. So what I was thinking is I build like droids and stuff. So I wasn't sure, like I was thinking, you know, if I built like a droid, maybe you could photograph it or, but then I was like, yeah, what if we tied it in with the Star Wars theme? So I don't know if you had any ideas of like what we could do. Yeah. I love that idea. I, I think it'd be, I've, you know, obviously I've seen some of your videos before and I, I thought it'd be really cool if we, um, did some sort of companion or sidekick to a Star Wars character, um, you know, something maybe a little more gritty or edgier, something like like seedier um, would be kind of cool. That's in my wheelhouse, and uh, I think it would pair up nicely with you know your your kind of style. Well, like uh, a bounty hunter, hunter would be awesome. I know you already did Boba Fett. I saw that on your Instagram. So oh yeah, uh, bounty hunters. Yeah. Are right up, right up my alley for sure. Lunge dirty, yeah, yeah, I like it. Let's do it. Uh, do you have any in mind? Well, you already did Boba, so like Greedo, you can't go wrong with Greedo. Oh, I would. Yeah. That is perfect. I love it. I ha I okay. have Greedo first of all, so that's we're good there. Um, and I, I've never shot him, so yeah, this is this will be a nice challenge, something new. Cool. Well, I'm thinking like in the past, I built a little hover droid. It was kind of cool, but I was thinking. Maybe like a hover droid with Greedo, and maybe it's a little bit more like a, a companion, like you said, like a sidekick, and he's uh, you know, armed and got guns and stuff. I don't know. I, oh, I don't yeah. Know. Cool. The more guns, the better. No, yeah, that's perfect. And, you know, if you, um, if it's it's kind of like, like that hovering type of droid, we I can put it on wires, I can add it, you know, I, I can figure that out. That's the beauty of Photoshop. I can make anything seem like it's flying and shooting guns, so... Um, I love that idea. Let's do it. Okay, good. So I guess I need to get my uh, tail in gear here and start making something. I'm going to do some sketches and come up with some ideas and uh, um, let me build something. I'll ship it out to you and then photograph it. Yeah, I love collaborating with other artists and, um, 
yeah, you you know you'll you'll walk people through how you created such a cool droid, and I'll uh, I'll show some BTS you know behind the scenes uh, footage of how I set my photo shoot up, and then I'll um, you know I'll have a speed edit of how uh, what I did in Photoshop to create you know the the, the artwork. So yeah, I love that. Ooh. Well, I better get in gear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you let me know when it's ready to ship. I'll brainstorm some ideas for right. settings and some uh, environments to put these guys in. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll reconnect in a little bit, okay? Sounds good, man. We'll be in touch. Take All right. Easy. Thanks, Dave. Later. Bye. Hey, this is going to be super fun. So I'm just digging through my container drawer and lids and stuff, and I found this mouthwash bottle, but it's almost too big. Um... I like the size of this eyedrop bottle. It feels like a nice scale and could be like a, a nice little companion to this six inch figure. So I got out a pencil and paper and did a little sketch and I think this is kind of my going off point. This is, I normally use these just for an idea. I don't really stick to it 100%, but I think this is a good starting point. So I'm gonna get the stickers off, sand this down and I'm gluing the lid on. You'll see I've scribed a little line here. I want to cut this in half and put a little spacer just to give it a little bit more interest. So I'm taking my Dremel and I am trying to get this as straight and as clean as possible, but you'll see in a minute it actually looks awful. It is like super messy, so I'm gonna need to uh, try and clean this up a little bit. So I did one pass at sanding and glued that lid back on. And then I'm going to fill these holes with some polystyrene, but you can see it's still pretty rough. So I think what I'm going to need to do is, let's sand this down just a little bit more. So give that a little bit more sanding. And I'll just put a dab of glue on here. And it's really nice, like I said, to fill these giant gaps. Just glue it down onto a piece of polystyrene. And because it's so thin, it's actually really easy to um, trim. So really what I'll do is I'll just cut it out and I'll just score it with a nice sharp knife. And once you score that, this thin polystyrene, it just snaps and breaks right off. You can see I still have a little bit of a gap there that I'm not loving. So I'm gonna fill this with a little bit of this um, glue here. And then what I'll do is I'll take some baking soda and I'll just put it on there while it's all wet. And it actually acts like a really nice ba uh, bondo. And then I can sand this down no problem. All right, that's looking a lot better. So, so here's a little spacer. Um, I just took a thicker piece of polystyrene and I trimmed it down so it was inset just a little bit. And then I'm gonna just take some of this Tamiya like super thin glue because it works really great on polystyrene to polystyrene. So that's looking kind of cool. I don't know if it's like totally needed, but <laughs> why not? Now this part here is kind of an interesting explore for me. I'm just taking pieces and bits that I have and I'm just trying to figure out how to build this like what do I put on here um, I've got some final faction parts and some Gundam parts and really this is kind of the hardest part for me because I don't know exactly what I want to do yet and I think sometimes I overthink this and um, sometimes you just have to kind of stop and start gluing things on because really there's no right or wrong way to do this but this process is probably the hardest for me just to think through how I want to do it so I think I'm going with these little Gundam parts and I'm going to keep it a little bit simpler those other pieces were a little too bulky so I've taken some polystyrene um, and this extra thin to me a glue and I am just going to start gluing little just paneling the extra pieces it's really nothing super thought through it's just like this could work I've got this little Gundam piece that I'm like hmm, that's kind of a cool little tail piece uh, this is a muffler off of a some car model that I found at a yard sale for 50 cents I think so I trimmed off a little piece there and I'm like that's kind of cool and really it's just the process of starting to glue glue things on now for the gun I thought I want to make something kind of custom. So I've got this these two little Gundam parts. I actually don't even know exactly what they are, but I'm going to snip these off and kind of make my own gun. Make sure to 
drill out those barrel holes, it looks a million times better. I got called out a couple times on that, so <laughs> thank you for those who called me out on that because it does help it uh, to look a lot better. Uh, I found this little screw in my bits box, and I think putting that in there is going to look kind of cool. It's just an aesthetic thing, so putting a little lens on the front here, and it's starting to come together. I'm just gluing things on um, as I go. I'm going to put a pin here in the front as a little camera, gluing on the gun here on the side, and again, I've just, I'm just going for it. I, think, I thought it needed like a little thruster on the bottom. It doesn't quite fit, so I just take a piece of sandpaper and wrap it around like a Sharpie uh, just to give it a little bit of shape, and I think that's going to work for me. Yeah, I like that. So I'll glue that on. And Now, I did get out my soldering iron because I could have just glued this onto the wire, but I think this is going to work a little bit better. And I'm really just, again, adding on some greeblies that I can... Uh, just kind of make it look cooler. I'm going to poke a little hole in the side of this, run the wire, um, just again to add some interest to it. Uh, I thought I could use some little bits on the bottom here, so I'm going to need to sand that so it fits a little bit better. But again, I'm just trying to build this out. I did one more little strip across the top because the top was a little boring, but I didn't want it to get too bulky. So again, this is just a little piece of polystyrene that I cut and just gluing that down. Yeah, that, there it is. So <laughs> it is so weird before it's primed. It's kind of ugly. It's a it's a hodgepodge of just like little bits and pieces all over the place, but once it's primed, man, it is so cool. It just really comes together and uh, oh, man, this is like a super fun part. So I'm going to spray this thing silver and use that as a base. I think once I got it silver, I'm going to start painting this up. I started using this Citadel yellow, but it wasn't quite right, so I'm not going to worry about that, and I'll come back to it. I'm just taking this little cheapy uh, uh, kind of teal paint, and I'm going to just brush the whole thing. Now, if you'll notice, I am kind of giving it the color scheme of Greedo. So I'm going to go with like the yellow teal and maybe a little bit of brown. I'm going to put this brown right here in the centerpiece, and just that'll darken it up. I switched over to this yellow, and yeah, this is a lot better. It's kind of closer to what I was wanting. All right, I'm going to take this silver here, and I'm going to hit some of these little parts that I think would be metal, so like the the burners, the little muffler. I think that's going to be cool. I'm going to break out some black paint, paint out my wires and my hoses. I think that's going to really help start to separate this out. So yeah, I think this is looking pretty cool. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay. Um, I do like to take my silver and hit the edges and give it kind of a, a worn and weathered look. So I kind of did this over the entire thing. I do this on a lot of my builds, so nothing new. And then my Nuln oil, doing a good Citadel wash over the whole thing. Ah, and it really kind of adds depth. And um, I did add one more hose because I just thought the bottom was a little wimpy. So... I put a pin in there. I was going to do an LED, but because he's going to be doing photographs, I didn't want him to have to deal with wires and all that stuff. So I think this will give kind of a cool look for um, like a little lens or a camera. So this thing is done. Let's get it shipped out. All right, it's all packed up and ready to go. Here we come, Kill Cutter. Okay, I cannot wait to ship this out to him and get it going. This is going to be amazing. So I'm going to ship this package off to Kill Cutter. He is going to take some photos of it and do his process and make a YouTube uh, video out of it. So be sure to check out his video ch uh, YouTube channel and his Instagram channel. They're, like amazing work and a super cool, really nice guy. So uh, I'm going to get this shipped off to him. Stay tuned for some glamour shots and a little sneak peek at his process. And as always, it is a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one. Mm -hmm.